Daughter, you are an easy burden to bear. I thought that I was a barren field, but when my stomach started to swell, I knew a flower had taken root. As if in apology for the difficulty of your birth, you were a perfect child. When I caught you pressing two Barbies together like snakes twisting around the branches of an apple tree, I tore them out of your small hands and buried them in the compost heap. I told your father you were too young to know what you were doing, the sin you were creating. I told him that I would try harder. You began ballet the next day, tap dance a week later. Your friends at your sleepovers were always good girls. No, bad she no black sheep, no bad apples. Your best friend was the reverend's daughter, and I was so proud of you. You grew older. You were a cheerleader like me, popular like me, the same cross I wore always around your neck. When I noticed how, by 17, you still spoke so rarely about the boys who watched how you walked, I thought you were a late bloomer. Your father wondered, though, and I told him I would try harder. When I saw how your smile twisted when I asked about a prom king to your queen, how you stayed silent when your father rained hellfire on men that kissed men, when I saw how you watched the girls and how they walked on Sundays after church, I looked away and stayed silent, as if giving words to the suspicion would make it true. Your father wondered, though, and I told him I would try harder. But when I caught you pressed against the reverend's daughter, I could feel my heart tearing apart and making a home in the compost heap. I know you were not born this way, daughter. How could a child so perfect become so imperfect? How could I have allowed the seed in you to grow? I have always loved you. I still love you. I will always love you. I say this because I love you. I hold a mirror to, I hold a mirror to show you the devil lurking behind your shoulder because I love you. I still see my daughter trapped in this twisted apple tree and I will try harder to burn away years of temptation even if only with words. You tell me that this life is one you were born to. This was, that there was never a path from which you strayed. You speak pride about your lust and call it love, but daughter if you are so proud, why do your shoulders slump like willow boughs when I tell you these things? Why do you still wear my cross around your neck? If you are so proud of this thing that you are, daughter, then why do you look so ashamed? Thank you.